This video will cover the topic, finding the final amount in a word problem on continuous compound interest. To find the final amount in a word problem on continuous compound interest, we plug the known values into the equation for exponential growth, and then evaluate the final amount. Let's break it down. To model exponential growth, we use the following formula. A equals P times E to the power of RT. How can we use this equation to model continuous compound interest? When we use the formula for exponential growth to model continuous compound interest, the letter P in our equation stands for the principal or original amount of money before any interest is applied. The variable E is a mathematical constant. This means that it already has a value pre-assigned that never changes in any equation. It equals about 2.718. Many calculators have an E button that you can use for a more precise value of E. The R in this equation stands for the rate of growth, and the T stands for the duration over which the interest is applied. It's important that the rate and the duration have the same unit of time. For example, if we measure T, the duration, in years, then we want R, our rate of growth, to be growth per year. After plugging in all these values, we can solve for A, which tells us the total amount of money after the interest is applied. Let's try an example. A certain loan program offers an interest rate of 5.5% compounded continuously. Assuming no payments are made, how much would be owed after two years on a loan of $1,100? Let's identify which numbers in the word problem correspond to which variables in our equation. P represents the original amount of money. The problem states that the original amount of the loan was $1,100. So is P equal to $1,100? Right. E is approximately equal to 2.718, and it will always hold this approximate value. R represents the rate of growth. In our problem, the rate of growth is 5.5%. When dealing with money, we can assume that the interest is the growth rate per year unless it tells us otherwise. So this loan will grow at a rate of 5.5% per year. So does R equal 5.5? Not quite, but you're on the right track. R equals 5.5%. But in order to use that number in our problem, we need to convert that percent to a decimal. To convert a percent to a decimal, divide it by 100. 5.5 divided by 100 is 0 0.055. So R equals 0 0.055. T is the duration of time over which the loan grows. The problem says that the loan is growing for two years, so I think T equals two. Right, and A represents the final amount, which is what we're trying to find. Now that we know the rest of these values, we can plug those into our equation and solve for A. So instead of A equals P, times e to the power of rt, we can write this as a equals 1100 times e to the power of 0 0.055 times 2. In order to evaluate this, it's a good idea to enter the expression into a calculator using the e button for e. You could also simplify this one step at a time using the order of operations. Either way, you should end up with an answer close to A equals 1,227.9058775 and so on. Since we're dealing with money, we should round this to the nearest cent. So we should only have two decimal places in our final answer. There is a five in the third decimal place, so we should round the second decimal place up from zero to one and cut off the rest. This gives us a final answer of $1,227.91. Awesome. So to find the final amount in a word problem on continuous compound interest, we plug the known values into the equation for continuous exponential growth and then evaluate the final amount. That's right. Nice job.